I, I'm about to tell you. I'm about, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. Look, it ain't no secret. If you're watching this video, you know for a fact you got some haters in your life. Or you just trying to wonder, like, I wonder if they really hating on me. Is it just me or... You know, I don't really like to think that way because, you know, I really got hard for them. I feel for them. But I don't know. They be acting funny, funny sometimes. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you in this video right now. Man, listen, listen. It's your big brother Trim, man. I ain't about to tell you shit that you don't already know. I'm about to tell you everything you already know. I'm just going to confirm it to you. Listen. Please say that with me one more time, man. Listen. 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 This is, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tell you eight different sides in this video that you can, that you will know from this point on whether or not somebody is jealous of you. Now, like I said, chances are, if you even wanted to click this video, you know people jealous of you, but you're just trying to be 100% sure. I understand. Sometimes I'll be the same way too. I'm like, I don't know, man. I ain't even tasted it yet. Yeah, it ain't no good. It, you need to cook it over. You need to cook it over. I know I'll be the same way sometimes. Okay? So, you know, I want to let you know this one thing about jealous people. Now, one thing about jealous, it's, very, it's a very toxic disease to have. Some people are just naturally jealous. And you're probably the type of person, you don't even understand how they're doing this shit. You just be like, why are you doing that? Like, why are you doing this to me? I don't even think about you like that. Why are you doing it? Listen, jealous people, they like you and they love you. They like you and they hate you at the same damn time. Okay? And what these people do is they have a tendency to watch you uh, from a distance. And what they will do is they, they, will, they will feed into what it is that they like about you. But while they feeding into it and, and buying what it is that you have to offer, they, fuck it, I'm just about to tell you about it. Listen, first things first. This is one thing about a jealous person. This is what they'll do. Listen, first thing about a jealous person is, if certain sign is, you, you will know they're jealous of you if they're always talking about their accomplishments. All right? That's how you know a person is jealous of you. If, they, if every time you go around them, they always bragging and boasting about what they did. Who they, who they just, who number they got, what they doing for a living, how much money they made, what kind of new boat they bought, what kind of new clothes they got. If they always bragging about what they have on the phone to you or if they around you and it's just like every time you try to tell them something, you know, you a casual conversation person. You like to bounce back and forth with the conversation. You know what I'm saying? You feed off their stuff. They feed off your stuff. You feed off their stuff. They feed off your stuff. But this person, no, uh -uh, not when it comes to you. When they come to you, see, they already think about you in a high light, okay? One thing you got to understand about jealous people, they already see you as you the, you the biggest person they know, okay? You the most flyest person they know, okay? You the go-to person, all right? You the person that they know that's doing the best shit in life, okay? This is how they really see you behind closed doors. They know you that one. They know you the shit, but they never going to tell you that you are the shit, Okay? Comment below and say, I am the shit if, you, if I'm talking to you. Just put it in, write it in little emojis, SH, the pound sign, star, you know, so we can be polite, okay? But right below, you are the, yeah, if you think that you are the shit if I'm talking to you, okay? But one thing jealous people would do is they like to brag and boast their, about their accomplishments. So if you get on the phone with somebody, one of your homies or something like that, or your girlfriend or something, and she always trying to, it seems like they competing with you. You know what I mean? They always telling you about the newest thing that they got going on with their life and, and, and what they doing and, and, and how much money they made last week and what they going to do this year and how they doing this. And, 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 and you be like, hey, okay, I, I hear you. But at the end of the day, you know that they're not really doing nothing. You know they're not really making no real impact. You know they're not really successful. And you know deep down and deep good and well, back in the body, back in your mind, you know they ain't better than you. You know for a fact they ain't better than you. And see, you probably the type of person, you don't try to say too much about what you're doing because you already know your worth. You already know your value. You know what I mean? Like what why did you why did you have to tell them everything about you? This everything about you, everybody already knows that you're a wonderful person anyway. They know you the chosen one, period. Okay, but it seems like this person, they always got to brag to you about their life and their accomplishments. That is a sign that a person is jealous of you. All right. The second sign somebody's jealous of you is when you start, you saying, talk, you talking to them and they ignore you when you speak. That is a slap in the face sign that somebody's jealous of you. All right. You ever been talking to somebody 
and they was busy, right? They was busy. They was making food. You know what I'm saying? They was chopping. They was chopping some uh, 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 chopping up some lettuce. They was making a salad and stuff. And you were talking to them about you know everything about yourself. You just talking. Just want to have a casual conversation with the person. And then and they still ignoring you. They still chopping. And you be listening for a response, like you listening for a response, but they like, you like, hold on, am I, am I, you start questioning yourself. See, that's what they want you, they want you to see the shit, but they don't want you to see it at the same damn time. What they want you to do is they want you, they, they want you to know that they don't like you. They want you to know that, but at the same time, they don't got the balls to tell you that they don't like you because they full of ego. They full of pride. So they still sitting there just cooking. They ain't even responding to you yet. They cooking. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And they play that role like they do it all late. See, they want to feel important. They try so hard to feel important in front of you because they know you more special than them. They know you a better person than them. They know you got more, they know you got more integrity than them. They know you more respectful than them. They know you got more dignity than them. They know you got more confidence than them. And you are way more smarter than them. Okay? So just that little, they just want that little five seconds of fame. They just want you to, they just want you to say, uh, hello, uh, you gonna are you gonna respond? See, they, they want you to beg them. They want you to beg them because they they so they so hateful in their heart. It just hurts them to respond to you when you talk because they got so much hatred in their heart. You know what I mean? They could be racist. They could be envious of you. You know, they could hate the fact that you just you got a better body than them and they still got a flat screen TV booty. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, God, didn't, God didn't bless you the way he blessed me. I'm sorry. You need to take that up with the Lord. And so what they'll try to do is when you try to talk to them, they'll try to ignore you. And like they don't hear you. Huh? 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 I'm sitting right here. I know you heard me. Huh? 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 That's how dumb they are. They dumb. They slow. They EC. Education confusing. And then another way, you know, they jealousy, they try to change the subject and talk about something else. You be sitting there talking about something that's really on your heart, something that you just want some, you just want to vent to somebody. You just trying to get them to understand how bad your day was. Just, just so you can vent to them. You don't really need to lean on them like a shoulder to lean on. You don't really need them to help you or nothing. You just vent to them. You know what I'm saying? And here they go, they're going to change the subject. Oh, that look, I, ooh, I like that car right there. Ooh, look at that car that's going right there right there. I'm gonna get that car right there. I know tag time is here. It's tag time. And I'm gonna get checks. I got what's called son, what's called son, what's called son, and his daughter. Yeah, I'm gonna get that car right there. Oh, what was you saying? What was you saying? That's called shade, folks. Shade. You see this shade? It's shade. That's called shade. They throw a shade on, they throw shade on you to try to make you feel lesser than them. You know what I'm saying? This is what jealous people do. This is how you know they're jealous of you. Another thing you'll know somebody's jealous of. Listen, I can't make this shit up. This is real. Okay, listen. Another way you know somebody's jealous of you is if you run in a business. Say you run in a business. I don't know. You probably got a food truck or something. Or you're probably trying to open up your own business or get a thrift store or something. Or, you know, you probably got your own sunglasses line or something like that. You know how you know they're jealous of you? They start talking about somebody else. They do the same thing you do, but not you. Hmm. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go buy them glasses. Julie got Julie got some good glasses down there, too. Yeah. She got them big old glasses down there that look like bug glasses. I'm going to go get them. Cause everybody wearing them, everybody wearing them. Everybody. What about my glasses? You gonna go buy Julie glasses, but I'm your friend. See, since you they friend and you got a business going, see the reason why they're not gonna support your business is because they don't got no damn business. They don't got no business. They don't got nothing going on. So it eats them up. It tears them up deep down on the inside to have to purchase something from you. It eats them up to say, I am so surprised that you have a business. I am so proud of you. They don't have they don't have it in them to be able to tell you that. So what they'll try to do even is they'll try to tell you how to run your own business. And uh, no. You no 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 no. You shouldn't run the school like that. I wouldn't do it like that. 
Now see, the, I read, I seen on the news where they said that they was going to change the law. And you can't give them kids Kleenex no more because they running home telling their mama that you gave them Kleenex. And you know them Kleenex got feathers in it. Now, I know, now don't ask me how I know this. I didn't know that they got feathers in the Kleenex and they're making the kids get allergies. If I was you, I'd change that up at the daycare. So they so mad. They don't want you to win no matter what. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to prosper. The only thing they're going to try to do is try to get you to give you. They want your attention so bad. They always feel like they got to tell you something about your shit. Now, that you don't supposed to put sea salt in the bathtub. Sea salt? No, you don't put sea salt in the bathtub. You supposed to put sea salt on chicken. It'll ground you. Sea salt ain't going to ground you. No, you put that sea salt on that chicken. Look, you don't know nothing about a salt bath. You don't know nothing about a salt bath. You don't know nothing about holistic stuff. You just thinking about chicken and red meat. And you want to sit up here and tell me that I can't sit in the bathtub with sea. They make Epsom salt in the damn stove. But see, that's how, that's like I said, folks, that's how jealous they is of you. They don't want you to, they don't want you to win. They're going to always try to tell you how to do everything. Even when you got all the answers, even when you're doing it right, they still going to tell you that this shit is wrong. Okay. That's how you know they're jealous of you. All right. Another way, another, another sign people are jealous of you is when you ever had somebody that asked you for advice. They ask you for help. They ask you to do something for them. You know what I mean? And it's like you show up. They don't show up. No call, no show. They, they stand you up. They stand you up. You know what I mean? It's like they say, you going to watch my kids today? And then you say, yeah, I'm going to watch the kids today. And then you be prepared to watch the kids. And you be waiting an hour after. Then you wait an hour and a half after. Ain't nobody call. You try to call to see if the kids come though. Ain't nobody call. And then and then three hours later, they call you and say, oh, it's okay. I don't need you to watch them now. What's Colin going to watch them for me? That's shade. That's shade. That's shade. That's shade. You ever had one of your family members reach out to you and they say, I need you to help me with this. You know, now mind you, now mind you, this same damn family member ain't never reached out to you and asked you to help them with nothing in the past. But you probably were sitting around wondering, I wonder why they won't call me. I know how to do the shit that they doing that they ain't succeeding in. Why they won't call me? I know how to do it. <laughs> you know why they ain't never called you? Because they've been jealous of you the whole time. But see, they had to come out. They, they finally, it came to a point, you've been doing so good with your life. They've been watching you from on that hill, on top of that mountain, in that cabin, shivering, lonely as hell, with the binoculars, zooming in, looking at your life and seeing how good you're doing. And then they had to come out their zone one day because they, they it was just eating them up so bad that they didn't reach out to you. And now they finally reach out to you. Hey, honey, I need help with, um, I need to know, uh, I got a jam on Monday and, you know, I, I'm trying to be a music artist and, and uh, you know, I, 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 I got a wedding coming up and I need you to um, help me with it. And then you actually reach out and help them like, well, damn. You know, you actually reach out and help them like you, cause you surprised. Even you surprised, like, wow, they, she actually re they, they actually reach out to me. Well, damn. You know what I'm saying? I thought you listed Gucci Man in 2006. I thought you liked Gucci Man in 2006. You be like, well, damn. Okay, okay. You know. And then you actually start to help them a little bit, and then they supposed to follow up with. They supposed to call you back the next day. No call, no nothing, no show. They don't even do what they told you they was gonna do. And you just like, no, why why did everything fall out the window? Because they just they just came to you because they had to. You brought them out their zone of hatred and jealousy because you shining too hard. You shining too hard. You too loud. Shh, you need to calm down. That, see, big bro tech, you need to calm down. Shh, but you've been misbehaving. Yeah, you. You've been doing too good. You've been smiling hard. You happy with your life, ain't you? You so happy with your life. You doing so good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm so proud of you. Kiss yourself. Kiss yourself. Kiss yourself. Kiss yourself. Yeah, ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. But nah, real talk, real talk. They wanted your attention. That's all. They know you the one that's doing you the most successful in the family. They just want your attention. They want you to. They want you to. Now they want you to play chase them. They want you to reach out to them. Hey, come back, come back. You, know, you need my help. You need my help. You need my help. And they gonna be running away. Uh uh. uh, uh I don't need your help. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. I didn't call you. Uh, you did. Then you call me because you want me to help you come over here. No, that wasn't me. 
Then you called me and told me that you need me to help you plant them flowers. No, no, I got them planted already. Uh-uh, Ray Ray helped me plant them. They know they called you. That's a sign that they jealous of you folks is when they ask for advice for you, but don't follow back up because you brought them out their zone. That's why they came out in the first place and they want your attention. They are fighting for, comp they are fighting to be the best person and they competing with you, okay? Another sign that somebody's jealous of you and they don't want you to know is when they act like they not watching you, but they is, but they don't want to give you credit. You know what I mean? They watching you, but they act like they don't. You ever been around somebody? You ever been around somebody? You a music, say you a music artist or something like that, right, bro? You a music artist, bro, right? And then your girl, one of your friend girls that you talk to on the side, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know, that you talk to on the side, you know what I'm saying? You talk to on the side. You know she a good fan. You don't did this. You don't razzle dazzle and did all that with her. You know what I'm saying? And you put out some new music on your site or something like that. And you be like, you be like, hey, you, you, did you listen to my music today? She's like, nah, I ain't heard it yet. I'm going to listen to it tomorrow. I ain't heard it yet. Bro, she, bro, she heard it. She was the first one to hear the track. She... Soon as you dropped that shit, she went in the room, ran in the room, listened to the shit. Were... <laughs> he, Lil Boo Boo, is, that's my baby, Lil Boo Boo. You know what I'm saying? They, she heard your music and everything. That shit was not. <laughs> she was like, that's my baby right there. I know he's going to be big one day. Lil Boo Boo. And then you talk to her. She be like, I ain't heard it yet. I haven't listened to it, though. I know you. you when you record it. That's how they act. That's how the Decepticons act. They try to act. They, they slow. They dumb. They dumb down. This is how you know they jealous of you, bro. You know what I mean? She wants you to be a big time music artist. She wants you to be big in business. She wants you to be a good man that you are. But she don't want to She don't want to acknowledge to you that you are a gentleman. She don't want to acknowledge you to you that you are the best man that she ever been with. She don't want to acknowledge to you that, you, you know, one day you going to make it, bro. And, and you probably might not be around her. That's why she's trying to act like she not she don't hear it. Because she don't want you to think that you're going to be successful one day. Because she probably thinking in the back of her mind, she ain't going to get to have what she have in the moment. You see what I'm saying? It's like a mind game that they play. When she know, they know they see the shit. They know they see it. They watch, they're the number one fans. All your people that's jealous of you, the people that's hating on you, folks, I just want you to know this. They your number one fans. Listen, the people that's not in your life right now, who you know good and damn well probably watching you, your close ones, your family members, your relatives, people that you know, that, that know about you, that really know about you, they watch, trust me, folks, they are watching you, okay? And the, see the reason why they can't, they don't have enough confidence, they don't have enough in them to come and reach out to you is because they prideful. Okay, that's why God ain't blessing them like God blessing you because they heart ain't right. See, people can't behave the way they heart don't allow them to behave. Okay, so when you see somebody not connecting with you and not associating with you and supporting you the way that you expect them to, it ain't don't blame them, folks. It's their heart. Their heart is not right. That's why they don't have the blessings that you have. And God is continuing to blessing you. Uh, he blessing you that with you. Can I get an amen? Somebody comment below and say amen, big brother. You talking about me. Somebody comment below and say, hey man, big brother, you talking about me. God blesses their wish and word with them. Huh? You ain't know. This is how you know that they're jealous of you, man. You know what I mean? Another th another sign that they're jealous of you is shit out. Dang. <laughs> hey, what's that dude on uh, to be with uh he what's that dude to be with Kelly? That, that big football player, uh, what's his name? Um, the big dude with the gap in his mouth. Um, I sound like him. I was just, I just, I was like, another sign, another sign, another sign that they jealous of you. Michael Strahan, yeah, another sign that they jealous. Kelly, you know, he know what him and Kelly be getting it in. Him and Kelly, and Kelly be over there. Oh my God, you're so good. I like, yeah. Michael Strahan with that big gap in his mouth. He said, you know, you know, I just had to do it for you and everybody out there. I just want to let everybody know that. This is a this is a day that we are all awesome. We're all awesome today. And that thing with that tight ass suit on, you know he be hitting on Kelly. He like that white love. He like him. He like him. He like him. And there's a lot of people that's probably jealous of him because he with her on that show. There's a lot of people that's jealous of Kelly. Well, a lot of white people that's jealous of Kelly because because he with he with Michael Stay You know what I'm saying? 
But anyway, another thing that you know that people are jealous of you is when they still in your style but don't give you no credit. Now, I know it's a lot of y'all out there that kind of relate to that. When people start stealing your style but don't give you credit, they jealous of you. Okay? Now, these listen, I'm telling y'all how these Decepticons do. Listen. Y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen. Listen. It's another sign that they jealous of you. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, what these people do, see, they so meticulous with it. They so smart with it, and they very crafty. Okay? They crafty, they crafty, they crafty, they craft cheese. Okay? What they'll do is they'll chime in and watch you. They'll chime in and watch you. They will look at your content. They'll look at your videos. They'll listen to your music. They'll, excuse me, they'll look at your pictures on Instagram. They'll just chime in from time to time. They'll chime in. So when they get home, they eating their crackers and shit, watching you. They eating their crackers, watching you. Get, you know what I mean? They, you know what I mean? They taking shots, watching you. <laughs> and then I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like her. And then they go right in the damn bathroom. They go right in the bathroom and try to think that they looking like it. Y'all look like twins. Huh? Huh? Where they do that at? I just like twins. I'm just like twins. That's how they do you. They they tune in. They tune in to you behind the scenes when you don't even know it. They won't they won't subscribe to you. They won't even think won't even want you to know that they subscribe to you. You know what I mean? They tune in, chime in, looking at your Instagram, looking at what new posts you post. They probably got another account trying to keep track of your posts. They they tell they log into their other account. Oh, she held them back home now. Let me see what she posted that day. I want to let see what she posted today. I'm still trying to keep my style. Of, Ooh, that's cute. I can't stand her. Then they go get, they go to the store and go get the same shit you got. How it get? How it look? It look good, don't it? It look good. All right, I wouldn't buy that right there. Then they come right back home and look at your ass again. They come right back home and see you post something again. Ooh, it's story. That's how they do you. You don't know? This is how people, that's how you know people are jealous of you. They steal your style, but they don't never give you the credit because they're Decepticon. They're Decepticon. They're Decepticon. They are Decepticon. You got to say it with me. Speak it into existence because you call them out for who they be, they wish they are. They are Decepticon. It's in the scriptures. Listen. Another, another sign that you know somebody's jealous of you is when you out in public, and somebody act like they people start act like they more important than you. You ever been out in public and you start to see people just acting like they more important than you? You know what I mean? It's like they stand up. They it's like when, when you out in public, everybody's all of a sudden they are like CEOs now. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden they're like actresses and stars. Like they're famous now. They're like, uh, 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 yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like calm, calm down. You know they they try to get all polite. They start. At, they start talking loud and everything so everybody can hear their conversation and who who they know that's famous. Yeah, I know. I know Ty Mike Tyson. I know Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson gave me some weed. Mm -hmm. He growing in his backyard. We all know that. We all know that. You don't know nothing that nobody else don't know. Shut up. God. The seventh kind. But see, the only reason why they be doing that is because they know you around. Mm -hmm. They know you around and they know that you successful and they know you good, you look good. They know you clean. They know you very smart and they see how much energy, how much good energy you got when you be around. So they battling with you spiritually to win your spotlight from you because they don't naturally possess the inordinate amount of energy that you have. So when you are around, they try to make you seem like you're nobody and like you're lesser than them. That's why they all like, talking about who they know. I know Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I know the creator of the show. He's taking that door to me. He drew him. He drew the characters. Now, do you know Hey Arnold? Yeah, I I got Hey Arnold football. Yeah, I got it off eBay for three thousand dollars. The one that he threw in the cartoon. I got it. Did this did this did this say she got Hey Arnold football? Look that done. She's stupid. She's slow. She's slow. She's the second kind. And her head look like a football. She talking about she bought a football. Her head look like a football. Oh, oh my gosh. What they do that at? Listen, 
Uh, last but not least, the eighth, the, here's the eighth sign that somebody's jealous of you and they watching you. Listen, this is how you know somebody's jealous of you. Listen, when somebody is arguing with you and they are overly angry with you, and then, you know what I'm saying? You ever have somebody that's angry with you, they disagree with you with something, this is a normal argument. They'd be like, okay, I, I don't like you. You know, like, I don't like you either. Be like, all right, and it goes separate ways. It's normal, you know? But when somebody is overly angry with you over something so petty, okay? Something so, why you ain't take your shoes out when you walk to my house? Oh, man, I got to back in the flow, and I got to get all this up. You want you to go, like, well, on the front door that told you don't walk in with no shoes on in my house, and my door man is right over there. You said no one better than that. <laughs> And they running out of breath because they trying. They, they, but listen, they don't mind if you don't wear no if you wear no shoes, if you wear shoes in there, or you don't wear shoes in. They don't mind. But see, they nitpick at every little small thing that you do. You can't step on the damn crack and you don't break your mama back. They'll say you walking around the pole. You, you, you went the wrong way in the pole. You gonna get bad luck, nigga? Do you still believe that? You are ignorant, nigga. You ignorant. You are ignorant. No, you are ignorant. How is that supposed to make me have bad luck because I walked through the pole in the opposite way? You, oh my God, you still believe in myth? You let you believe in myth? That's how they do though. Any little small little thing that you do wrong. If you go if you go in somebody's house and you don't even move something right, they'll call you on the phone. You know you didn't put that back, you didn't you didn't put that hand in the top of the back where I had where you had that, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, I thought I was supposed to put it right there. No, it don't supposed to go right there. But I thought, I, that it's, isn't it still around the sink area? No, but I had it on the right side. Yeah, uh huh. It's okay, yo. I can't, okay, honey. I moved. Honey, I moved it. Just make sure next time when you come over here, you just make sure you put the hand sanitizer back on the right side of the sink, okay? Okay. Where do they do that at? They get mad at you about the most simplest, pettiest, stupidest, and most stupidest things, folks. That's how you know somebody's jealous of you. And the reason why they're doing this is because they want to make themselves feel more superior than, we, than you. They want to try to dim your light. They want to put you down in that moment to make you have to to make you have to say I'm sorry or I apologize or something because it's all about power. They want to have a control over you. They want to have power over you. They want to be able to sit back and like, ha, 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 I got them to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, somebody looked up to me. Finally, somebody looked up to me because nobody looks up to me. That's how slow they is. They slow. They slow. They dumb down. It's your big brother, Trey, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope this video resonated with you. But this is how you know people is jealous of you. No cap, man. It's your big bro, Trey. Look, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Uh, once again, folks, if you want to get a session with me, book my ses book sessions with me below. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, big bro. It's all love, baby. Um, if you want one of my courses, I'm all my courses are 90% off right now. If you want one of my courses, book below. Look below in the comment section at the very top. You can book any session with Big Bro, man. Book your session with me today uh, and get a course. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is how you know haters is jealous of you. Don't say nobody never told you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's your Big Bro, Trend Genius, man. Peace.